How's it going everybody and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to tell you what you need to know about the largest crypto hedge funds out there, how much assets or how many assets they have under management and what their strategies are that you know us retail traders should probably keep an eye out for because as institutional money moves across the uh, you know trading floor uh, it does have a huge impact on prices and on assets in general so if you enjoy the video smash the like button and let's get straight into it so in 2022 a report by pwc one of the big four in consulting accounting and all this stuff revealed that more than a third of traditional hedge, hedge funds were investing in cryptocurrencies so it's skyrocketing slowly and as the web3 world is becoming more and more uh, you know less scammy and more serious where projects are actually diving into the technology and using it in the best way possible there has been an increase in correlation when it comes to bitcoin and the nasdaq or the s p 500 or you know the indexes of the top 500 companies uh, or the top companies in general in the usa so the leads us to the question of what is a crypto hedge fund now you guys have probably heard of hedge funds in general where they basically take people's money they pool it and they invest it into assets where the investors expect a return that is hopefully positive over a period of time now this is not gonna come you know in the next six months in the next one year hedge funds are typically there to invest over the long term so this is something that you have to keep in mind now hedge funds by definition are investment vehicles that pool money from various investors with the goal of getting positive returns now it's usually limited to wealthier investors who can afford higher management fees and the risks of hedge fund investing which are uh, you know quite large because you are giving your money to another institution to trade but it's probably better than trading on your own because it does take a lot of time to become a sufficiently profitable and consistently profitable solo trader right so sometimes if you have a lot of money and you want to invest into something other than a pension fund a hedge fund is the way to go now the sec added that hedge funds are not regulated as heavily as mutual funds so that's something to keep in mind because they do have the leeway to actually invest in more difficult assets such as cryptocurrencies and Next to cryptocurrency, hedge funds have been investing in equities, fixed income, foreign currencies and commodities as well, uh, you know, next to some other traditional instruments that they invest in. Now, crypto hedge funds and venture capital firms are quite similar because as crypto hedge funds are these institutional cryptocurrency investment firms mostly, uh, they do possess a high liquidity in assets, which means it's very important for us retail investors to be aware of what institutional players are doing so we can have an even better glimpse on the market it's sort of like looking at both technicals and fundamentals before entering a trade online so why are venture capital firms similar to hedge funds well they both basically invest in up-and-coming crypto projects uh, in the early phases so you're gonna see uh, very soon you know in this article that some hedge funds tend to invest in pre-seed and seed phases of cryptocurrency projects whereas others are focusing just on the giants such as bitcoin and ethereum for a positive return over time that you know has been proven so far ever since bitcoin was created back in when was it 2008 2011 not even sure myself but you know if you can spark my imagination drop a comment down below now the first hedge fund we're going to talk about is dcg grayscale and coindesk parent so you're going to see that it was formed in 2015 by barry silbert a guy that i probably will review in another video as he has had quite an interesting journey uh, in the world of cryptocurrencies and outside of it and digital currency group is the parent company of the world's largest digital asset manager grayscale investments now the company is one of the most active investment firms in the blockchain sector formed in 2015 by barry silbert and uh, he also you know had a first company which was second market solution uh, where he sold it to nasdaq right before now what does the company do well it offers single assets and diversified cryptocurrency funds to investors via grayscale investments and also offers uh, private investments wealth advisory and tax uh, trust and estate planning through hq uh, which is you know the other uh, life and wealth management arm of this company so they have this grayscale bitcoin trust where the total assets under management are, are around 15 billion dollars which is pretty good and their core holdings are bitcoin ethereum ethereum classic mana land phil uh, filecoin zen not sure what that is 
uh, LPT and Zcash, right? So here's some inside info for all of you. Like, obviously, I'm not a financial advisor and this does not constitute any inside information. It is literally publicly available on capital.com and it's just, you know, a little glimpse of what the assets are. Uh, that is this Grayscale uh, Investments is holding. Now, they've also uh, invested in other Bitcoin and other platforms on the blockchain, such as BitGo, Web Browser, Brave, uh, Chainalysis, Circle, which is now bankrupt, uh, Coinbase, Kraken, and FTX, which is also now bankrupt. And you can see that Grayscale's Bitcoin Trust uh, traded at, uh, you know, more than 40% of a discount to its underlying Bitcoin value. So they did have a difficult period. Uh, also, Fur Tree Capital was suing Grayscale over potential mismanagement and conflicts of interest at its flagship Grayscale Bitcoin Trust Fund. But, uh, you know, even though they've had all of these situations, uh, they're still operating. They have around 18 billion assets under management. Uh, trailing 12 months is a negative 20% because of the market situation, but a positive 19,000% since inception. So this is what the hedge fund is telling you about. And if you want to invest, I mean, you can go and check out all of their funds and exactly what they have. But that's pretty much it when it comes to Grayscale and Michael. No, sorry. What's his name? Um, what's, what's his name? Barry Silbert's company, right? Next up, we have Pantera Capital, the first US crypto hedge fund where they focus on providing blockchain sector venture equity to early stage token and liquid cryptocurrency investment uh, devices, right? Well, not devices, but vehicles or whatever. So they allow you to invest in early stage tokens or they invest your money in it. And according to the website, Patera's liquid token fund is driven by this discretionary strategy focused on decentralized finance and adjacent assets with investments in 15 to 25 liquid tokens at any point in time now if you want to invest with them you have to have a minimum of a hundred thousand dollars they take a two and twenty split which a lot of hedge funds are actually doing but uh due to the series of crypto market crashes it actually lost 80 percent of its value in 2022 so as of 13th of april 2023 pantera's assets under management stood at 4.7 billion dollars and they are still uh working pretty nicely you can check out the website it looks pretty cool quite sleek and uh, if you want to invest you can do so through their website as well now let's move on so next up we have morgan creek capital management's crypto arm and they focus on you know they are a north carolina based hedge fund and they focus on providing these management services to institutional and qualifying clients such as endowments pension plans foundations and family offices so they are quite serious right their focus is to diversify as much as possible and to integrate uh, alternative investments into a traditional portfolio, which sounds pretty cool. And obviously they are focusing on cryptocurrency, especially in seed and early stage blockchain, artificial intelligence companies and digital assets. So a pretty nice uh, investment fund right here. I love to see uh, blockchain, especially when it comes to seed and early phases and also AI companies, which are more and more prominent in today's, you know, hype age, uh, you know, around AI. And it obviously is a huge technology that you probably should be, uh, you know, researching at least, or, you know, use chat GPT, try to get accustomed to it because it is probably going to change the way that we live 10 years from now. And it already is right. So here's some of the holdings that these guys have. And as of 3rd of November, 2022, Bitcoin and Ethereum held index weights of 63% and around 30% respectively inside of the fund. Now, Bitcoin uh, was on track to replace gold. So this is what, what Mark Yasko said. He is the chief executive. He said that Bitcoin is going to be similar to gold and priced it at around $250,000 when that happens, uh, which probably corresponds to gold's market cap of around $10 trillion, which is something we should all keep in mind. But moving on, we have Brevin Howard dipping their toes into crypto. Now, this asset management is a hedge fund that manages assets for institutional investors around the world, including sovereign wealth funds and corporate and public pension plans. BH Digital is supported by more than 15 portfolio managers, 10 plus data scientists and traders, and at least 20 external blockchain engineers. So quite a, 
uh, quite a team they actually have here. And in March 2023, they took over another hedge fund run by Dragonfly Capital. And they have a little bit more than a billion dollars raised from institutional investors since, uh, you know, some time ago. And uh, yeah, this is how their website looks like. I would probably prefer Pantera or something, but, uh, you know, it's nice to see that there are multiple uh, different hedge funds that you are able to invest in, uh, you know, if you have the urge or willingness to do so. Now, almost at the end, we have Andreessen Horowitz, A16Z, which is one of the most influential venture capital firms in Silicon Valley, founded in 2009 by Mark Anderson and Ben Horowitz. Ben Horowitz, quite an interesting face as well. Might do a review of him, of him on the channel. If you want to see that, drop a comment down below. They have $35 billion in AUM across multiple funds. And, uh, you know, they did invest in cryptocurrencies all the way since 2013 and a16z actually announced their fourth crypto focused fund worth 4.5 billion dollars taking its total crypto funds raised since inception to over 7.5 billion dollars now they think that we are entering the golden era of web3 where programmable blockchains are sufficiently advanced and a diverse range of apps have reached tens of millions of users so there's a lot of serious stuff going on on the blockchain right now which is why we all love this sector so much. And last but not least, we've got Sequoia, a tech-focused global investing giant founded in 1972 by Don Valentine. They actually invested in Apple a long time ago, Atari a long time ago, Cisco, Google, Meta, Airbnb. They are, they've been there for a while, but they've also invested in some crypto native companies and made some mistakes such as FTX, uh, Block, SQ, which uh, you know is okay. Ethereum-based scaling solution company Starkwave and a lot of other different blockchain projects, which is pretty cool. So they have around five to six hundred million Sequoia uh, money in the crypto fund, and their goal with the fund is to participate more actively in protocols, better support token-only projects, and learn by doing it ourselves or their themselves," said Sequoia. So. That's pretty much it for today's video. I mean, you can check out some final thoughts. I'm going to drop the article down below as always. I hope you enjoyed this little insight into the top crypto hedge funds out there. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see you guys very soon. But before I end it, I'm not a financial advisor. And you should do your own due diligence before investing into anything in the blockchain, crypto or NFT world. So thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video.